There are so many tests for iron deficiency. I mean, ferritin, TSAT, what even is TINC? I just wanna know if my patient has iron deficiency. Well, let's figure out the best way to diagnose iron deficiency today on In the Nick of Time. So if we're gonna use these iron tests the right way, we should probably know what they mean. So let's go back to basics. So iron is super important in the body. It's what lets hemoglobin carry oxygen and it's involved in cellular respiration. But there's a problem. Iron is super toxic to cells. So how do we get it into the body? Well, imagine a patient's just had a cheeseburger. All the iron from that burger get absorbed by enterocytes in the duodenum. Instead of putting all that toxic iron directly in the blood, we hand it over to our helpful transport molecule, transferrin. So transferrin brings iron to the tissues that need it, like to the bone marrow to make hemoglobin. Any leftover iron is transferred from the transport molecule, transferrin, to the storage molecule, ferritin. This is mostly in the liver, but is also found in places like the spleen. So this is a pretty basic summary of how iron is metabolized and stored in the body. But remember, I still wanna know if my patient has iron deficiency. So let's keep this physiology in mind when we think about labs that might be helpful for us to diagnose iron deficiency.